Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. This will go from June 10th through the 16th. Um, thank you for tuning in. I've already pulled the cards. Let's get to it. Um, so Sag, it looks like um, either you or someone else is focused on um, it's focused on the cup. You know, the giving and the the receiving of love. They, this person may miss you or vice versa. You miss this person. In the midst of the relationship, there might have been like childishness, childish games played, drama. There was even romance here. Uh, <clears throat> but something changed. Something, there was significant change within a long-standing relationship or a marriage and someone cut something off or out they ended uh, a situation this could be the Sag having ended um, a marriage or a relationship or vice versa someone with you it might have been might be due to the fact that someone was keeping options open here <clears throat> This could also be in regards to the Sag cutting out some some masculine figure or, or someone who was, they got a lot of notoriety, a lot of fame, a lot of uh, popularity, maybe in your, your city, your town or whatever, or they could be very popular. Something ended, the wheel turn here. Um, The Sag is also determined to have success here. Determined to change the course of. The Sag also could be concerned about appearances, their appearance, uh, first appearances, uh, the beginning. Someone wants to have a new beginning, a new start. Either you Sag or there's someone else that is is wanting to do this and is doing this um how they're coming off to the world is um being in love with self first working on self this could be changing something about uh, self appearance what's this ten of this wheel of fortune yeah. okay definitely lots of significant change within a long-standing dynamic Maybe with the sad is coming to determination that something needs to change either with a tourist person or um, something about a lot of drama, a lot of discord, a lot of dis you know disconnection and dysfunction. Maybe because someone was keeping options open. Someone made promises just to break them. Someone created the illusion. Either the Sag did this with a particular person or did this, you know, in a relationship or, or someone else did this to the Sag. The advice here is to allow the ending, the will is turning, and allow this new beginning to happen. Uh, this may be in accordance to maybe a little bit more independence. Self-awareness. There is either the Sag missing someone or someone missing the Sag. But also they have, haven't missed the opportunity with the Sag because or vice versa, miss the opportunity with the other person because someone couldn't decide. They couldn't emotionally get in, con they couldn't get in control of their emotions. What they saw, they wanted. And, and they had, they, you know, they, I guess, 
they were, you know, participating in several options, not choosing just one. Helpful people. Said, okay. Might need to go to a grief counselor or someone that can help you get over and get through. Um, there are helpful people here. Sag, this could be someone you have children with or you wanted to have children with or you became pregnant. It could have been the loss of or the new start of a pregnancy. Sag, if this resonates with you, leave a comment. Know that this week is about <clears throat> allowing the ending because there's significant change here within a long-standing dynamic. This could be in career and finance. This could be in love and romance. Um, also, there might be helpful people in regards to listen to, ultimately you have the final say about your life, Sag, but there may be someone who provides very good advice um, in regards to your situation. Okay? Um, they're objective. So that's really good. The Queen of Swords there. Alright, Sag, um, if you want to request your own personal reading, my information is below. Make sure you use the coupon code. Remember to stay in prayer, Sag, and know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.